the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wombo, joined now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys have moved this win streak into four games now. What mm-hmm. have been the keys to that success to get that four-game win streak going? You know, I think we're starting off on fire. I think we come out of every game and we dominate the draw, uh, draw control early and we're causing turnovers early. So we kind of get in the heads of our opponents, mm-hmm. um, you know, within the first minute, minute, and t- minute or two of the game. And then we're not afraid to shoot the ball 30 times. So, you know, we're, we're scoring 20 a game, on, I think on average, 20 a game, mm-hmm. which, is, which is great. We're dominating possession time. We're getting to execute a lot of our offensive plays, um, getting that repetition that in games that is so important. And at one point you talked about work in the box, and you guys have been doing that yes. uh, successfully as well and making long clears and having them be successful too. Sure. Well, we made, a, I think, a really key change uh, about three or four games ago, mm-hmm. and that was putting Hannah Tankersley, um, having her run more of a midfield role mm-hmm. and having her run that d- defensive box position. Hannah is a, is very visible on the field. She puts up a great – she's tall. Yeah. She runs like a deer, and she puts up a great target for the girls to see. She also understands that position. Mm-hmm. So as great as it is having her height playing low on the defensive end, I think it's really helped us kind of push that transition, make us much more comfortable in transition, moving her up to the midfield. She certainly has been a weapon for you yes. in that regard. I think now, she scored too. Yeah, I yeah, think, I think she, she did. Has. Yeah. <laughs> At least got an assist somewhere. <laughs> yes, you know. I think so. Um, with 20 goals a game, it's hard to keep count <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Right. Uh, now, as you guys move forward into this week, you guys are playing your final two conference games mm-hmm. against two teams that are ahead mm-hmm. of you in the standings. Mm-hmm. How important are these two games going to be for you heading in? These these games are just unbelievably important. Um, we're going to be on the road for mm-hmm. both of them. Uh, we don't we don't want to see Messiah in the first round of no. the playoff or the you know the semifinals, semifinals of the playoffs. We don't want to play in game. We don't want to be tired. We want. I would really like to have that time after Wednesday's game to kind of know where we're going to sit pretty mm-hmm. much, I'm sorry, next Tuesday's game, to know where we're going to sit uh, in the standings and start preparing for opponent, who we think opponent one is, and who we know opponent two is going to be. So uh, both Albright and Lycoming come with a lot of firepower. Their defenses are their weaknesses. So if we continue getting the draw, that will be the biggest impact. I think just having possession will put us in a really good position to win both of those games. As we move forward to the rest of the season, you have mm-hmm. three more games remaining, mm-hmm. all of them away from Mustang Stadium. Sure. How hard is it going to be to have to do that, play away? It's not going to be too hard. You know, playing in the Mid-Atlantic, it's it's not like you're on a bus for eight hours. And, and I think our longest trip will be to Pittsburgh, and that's just about four hours mm-hmm. long. And that, that'll be um, at the very last weekend of the regular season. Albright's two hours, Lycoming's two and a half hours. You know, these girls, it, it actually is really good for bonding with girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, I worry academically as a coach that I worry, worry that they are not staying ahead of their studies because they do get out of, have to get out of class sometimes. Um, and there's work that's due when they get back and we're getting back. You know, if we have a seven o'clock game two hours away, you do kind of worry about that. But they have a grand time together. I, you know, we travel a full week together. Uh, three, <laughs> three more days isn't going to hurt anybody. It's yeah. actually going to bring them closer together. Well, we're looking forward to that, and yes. hopefully we uh, continue this four-game win streak, move it to maybe seven. Great. Thank you. <laughs> She's Kathy <laughs> Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.